Hi everybody, welcome back to another edition of Design With Me, Ashley D. And today we are going to be making a homemade movie theater. So as you can see, my kids are playing there in the garage and that's what we're gonna be setting up at today. You want to start out by testing your equipment to make sure that it all works. So let's test this out. It looks like it works. After you've done the first couple of steps, you want to clear out your space that you are going to set up your pillows in. So that's what I have done here. And to set the mood or the ambiance, you want to hang lights. You can also use Christmas lights, but these particular lights I got from Sierra Trading Post, and if I find them again, I will link them down in the description bar below. I didn't want to sit my sofa pillows onto the garage floor, so I put a mat down. Next, I put another like little comfortable sheet over top of this, just to give it some extra cushion. Then I added all my pillows and I also just a protective layer for my pillows. You know, y'all, I'm extra. I added some towels on top of the rug and the sheets as well. And now it's time to get ready to format my sofa bed. So as you can see here, I am separating all the different size pillows that I have. And I will say the more pillows you have, the more fluff and the better that things turn out. So for here, what I have is I have two of the deep pillow cushions that actually sit down in the couch. Then I have three of the oversized pillows and then I have two of the smaller size pillows and then I have one fluffy pillow. Uh, this particular set of course is not for sale anymore, but just any type of cushions that you have around the house, I mean, you don't even have to purchase these things, just any type of cushions or pillows that you have around the house you can use. So I'm gonna speed things up a little bit here as I continue setting up the sofa bed. And just remember, you can set up the sofa bed any way that you would like. I would prefer using the bigger cushions or the more comfier cushions for the bottom because keep in mind, you're gonna be sitting through home movies or you can be out there for hours like we were. So you wanna make sure things are as comfortable as possible. I could talk you through what I've done, but everybody's gonna have different pillows and different size pillows. So really you just have to do what's comfortable for you and your family. So the next step with building your sofa bed is you want to build a nice comfortable back. How I'm doing this here is I'm taking tables, I'm laying one down to brace the other table on top of, as you can see there, it's braced up against there. Um, to give it extra support, if you have some heavy weights or what we use, the gallon sized paint cans that we use behind there to help hold the back side of it up because the worst thing you want to do is lean up against the back side of your sofa bed and fall over. So this is what I did in order to make sure that that didn't happen. And of course you need a snack bar cart. So this one I got from Dirt Cheap or you can use a table. Before you take the look at the final reveal, I just wanted to say thank you again so much for supporting me, supporting my channel and watching my videos. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment. I mean, let me know if you guys like it and wanna see more of this, you know, so I can keep going with these great suggestions that I have for your quarantine. Also, don't forget if you haven't already to subscribe to my channel and tell a friend to check out my channel and let me know what they think as well. Again, thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for watching. Enjoy.